Tune into KTSM 9 News every Wednesday at 5, 6, and 10 p.m. for Watch and Win Wednesdays. Winning is easy. Just watch our evening newscast and look for the winning keyword to register to win an Apple Watch. Watch and Win with KTSM. Time for Zant Law Firm's Nine Overtime, the city's first and only high school basketball wrap-up show. Your host, Andy Morgan, Colin Deaver, and reporter Stephanie Shields. Zant Law Firm's Nine Overtime starts now. It's time to suit up. How about our very own Andrew Esparza with the Beats? Welcome to another edition of Nine Overtime, the Borderlands first and only high school basketball wrap-up show. I'm your host, Andy Morgan. Flying solo tonight, Colin Deaver, he's got the night off. Stephanie Shields, she's going to be joining us in just a second from our game of the week. District play has begun in Class 6A, while in Class 5A, it's just beginning to heat up. And speaking of our game of the night, that took us to Bel Air High School for the grand opening of their new gym, a $32 million project. If you missed the uh, story we had earlier in this newscast on their beautiful new facility, be sure to head over to our website, ktsm.com. You got the Eastlake girls basketball team and the Bel Air girls basketball team. First quarter action, that was Cheyenne Bonilla getting the easy layup for the Falcons, and then it's Jaylee Levario. Three ball corner pocket, good. That put Bel Air uh, up 24-20 at that point in the Falcons. They're going to come back in the second half. It's Bonilla again. Pull-up jumper. Gets it to go. This game was tight the whole way. And then check out Amaris Sacedo. A crucial late bucket in this game. And Eastlake, they come up with the 51-48 win. A huge win for this Falcons team. And KTSM Knights, Stephanie Shields, she caught up with Eastlake head coach Joy Woodard after the game. She has this week's coach's spotlight. What a great night for the East Lake Falcons. They defeated Bel Air here 51 to 40 in an exciting game. Here with me, I have head coach Joy Woodard to talk about the win. Hey, coach, so tell me, you know, this was a, a exciting second half. How were you guys able to pull off the win? You know, the one thing that we can always rely on is our, our defense. We really struggled offensively tonight, but we had some young players tonight step up, um, play big defense, get big stops tonight, and we made a big play down the end, when, when down the stretch when it mattered. So it took 30 two minutes and we know it's going to take that this is a very very tough district um, and it's a very tight race here at the top and we know that we have to pull it we have to work hard every night and so it was just a complete team effort awesome and then like you said it's a tough district you guys are now uh a seven game winning streak in district. How do you plan to continue this momentum? It's really just one game at a time. We can't really look farther than the next game. Um, it's it's too it's too big. It can become overwhelming. So we just stay grounded. We're just believing in ourselves and we work hard every day um, on the little things that hopefully will carry over to big pictures like this. All right, awesome coach. Thank you and congrats on the win again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well that wraps up our nine overtime game of the week. East Lake with the win, 51-48 over Bel Air. I'm Stephanie Shields. Andy, back to you. All right, thank you, Stephanie. You can tell the Falcons pumped about that one. Let's switch gears to 1-6A. The Montwood Rams hosting the Franklin Cougars. Rams off to a 2-0 start in district play. About uh, Ruth Sotope putting Montwood on the scoreboard first with the uh, free throw. Got to make your free throws, kid. Then it's Mia Lazoya. She gets the... Uh, Miss and the rebounds Tori Martinez in the putback. And then again, how about Mia Lazoya? Quick pass to Tori Martinez. She gets it to go as Montwood, a big winner tonight. They beat Franklin 40 to 29. Socorro taking on Coronado over at Franklin High School. Remember the Thunderbirds still working on a brand new gym themselves in West El Paso. Can't wait to see that. How about Coronado's Vivana Lopez? Gonna get it to Valerie Gomez. She gets it to go. And then Bella Pardon. Gonna get the offensive rebound. How about the putback? Second chance points. That's what it's all about. And then uh, Lopez, other end. Coast to coast gets the easy layup. And then Lida Chavez going to get it to Andrea Estrada. That's a three ball as Socorro. They beat Coronado by a final of 36 to 28. In District 1-5A, Canatillo matched up against Bowie tonight. Eagles 7-2 in district play. Just a game behind the Andrus Eagles who were idle tonight. First quarter action, loose ball. And the Bears going to come up with it. Yasmin Contreras getting two off the glass.
Canatillo, though, a real strong team, and they share the basketball. It's all about the extra pass, and it's Jocelyn Moreno with two. Canatino wins this one big, 73-35. Eagles moving to 8-2 in district play. Chapin has won three straight to get to 6-2 in district 1-5-A play. The Huskies hosting Irving tonight in the Rockets. We're thinking upset on the road. First quarter action, Brianna Montoya, coast to coast. Little and one action right there for you. Urban's going to respond with Genesis Wolford. Strong take here. Two off the window, but Chapin just too much in this one. Check out the ball movement again. Love to see it, and it's Montoya in the corner. Splash. Chapin, a big winner, 73-54. Huskies with their 21st win of the season. Back to 2-5A. You had Del Valle and Hanks matched up. Both teams looking to gain some much-needed ground in the standings. How about Adrian Alvarez? On fire tonight in this one. Alvarez again. Just making it look easy. How about that three ball? Pulling up. Del Valle, though, they would come back to get this win over Hanks. 54 to 41 is your final. In District 14A, San Elizario ranked ninth in the state of Texas. And the Eagles look to be the real deal this season. Camila Contreras leading the charge for this team. First quarter action. It's Contreras, the lob pass, and gets the bank shot to go in. And then it's Mountain Views. Valdez is going to miss the free throw, but gets her own rebound. I'm telling you, folks, second chance points. But Contreras is going to get the pass again right here. Inside points, points in the paint. Sanelli beats Mountain View. 66-45 is your final. Other finals for you are across the city. Pebble Hills over Americas in a shootout, 76-68. El Paso High over Austin, 61-25. Torneo tops Anthony, 73-17. And Gadsden, they defeat Deming, 67-44. Elsewhere, Clint over Harmony, 50-2. Folks, that is not a typo. Mayfield with a big win, 61 to 50. Onyate over Alamogordo, 62-45. And Burgess, they get a win over Jefferson, 63 to 16. Your final in that one. Be sure to head on over to our website, ktsm.com, for all the results on the girls' side. Timeouts on the program, but when we return, we're going to spotlight the boys. Our cameras were in different gyms all across the city. We got all the action. You're watching Nine Overtime. SM 9 News, your local weather authority. 22 years ago, we came to El Paso with a single goal. Create a place where it's easy to get a great night's sleep. With a low price guarantee, the longest comfort guarantee in town, and the best brands in sleep, we are set for another 22 years. Thank you, El Paso, for making us your number one mattress retailer. Did you know there's an attorney who makes house calls? That's right. At Zant Law Firm, we have a mobile office. The attorney will go to your home to discuss your case. Have you been injured at a store or business? Have you suffered an injury in a car accident? Has your child been injured in a daycare? You don't need the largest law firm. You just need an experienced local lawyer who cares enough about your case to come to you. I'm Alexandria Zant. Call me today at 799-0993. Home of the mobile law office. Visit us online at ElPasoMobileLawyer.com. It's the 48-hour Group 1 Used Cars of El Paso sell-down. This Friday and Saturday, six Shamali dealerships, 500 pre-owned vehicles. Save time, save money with our no-haggle, no-hassle, best price first at Audi El Paso, BMW El Paso, Porsche El Paso, Subaru El Paso, Shamali Buick GMC, and Shamali Ford. El Paso's Group 1 family of dealerships has the best selection and prices in El Paso. Everyone drives this Friday and Saturday. UsedCarsofElPaso.com. Every Sunday at Long John Silver's, it's all the tasty food you can eat starting at $7.99. Fish, chicken, sides, and hush puppies. It's a whale of a deal. That's right. We just said whale. Only at Long John Silver's. Rudolph Volkswagen. Located at I-10 and Red Road. The new iPhone 11 runs on straight talk without a contract and a plan that's up to half the cost of big carriers. With the new ultra-wide camera, your shareable moments are ultra-shareable. Because you're on a network that's more than just big talk. The new iPhone 11. Now get the unlimited plan for just 45 bucks a month on America's best 4G LTE networks. Straight talk wireless, everything for less. The Sun Bowl cars are back at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. And available direct to you for the 10th consecutive year. 
This is a limited inventory for a very limited time. Sun Bowl Elantra is available with 0% APR for 72 months. Or lease a Sun Bowl Elantra for $199 per month. Sun Bowl Sonata is available for zero cash out of pocket. That's zero down on 2020 Sun Bowl Sonatas. These vehicles are first come, first served at Oscar Leasers Hyundai of El Paso. My Oscar is such a good boy. The brand new KTSM.com, powered by KTSM 9. The most reliable source for breaking news that affects you. Trending local stories, accurate weather, contests, and more. All on your KTSM.com. The new Tempur-Pedic Breeze helps you sleep cooler. So no more nocturnal baking. Or polar ice cap air conditioner mode. Because the Tempur-Pedic Breeze delivers all night cooling. Get your new Tempur-Pedic today and be cooler tonight. Only at Mattress Firm. Welcome back to Nine Overtime. It's the only show in town, and we've covered tonight's girls' games across the borderland. Now it's time for the boys. We're going to begin in District 16A, a district that really looks to be wide open this year. Coronado, uh, also 1-0. Uh, I should say 1-0 coming into tonight's game against Socorro, a playoff team a year ago. Thunderbirds looking for their sixth straight win. Socorro's Matt Pena going to get it to Diego Torres for the bucket. And then how about Patrick Farley? He gets it to go. Socorro. They would uh, come back. I mentioned they're a playoff team a year ago. Diego Torres gets the shot to uh, go once again. But how about Hank's, Hank Hayes? He gets the bucket inside. Two off the window is Coronado. They get the win. A big win moving to 2-0 in district play. 43-35 is your final. Montwood hosting Franklin. A big game for Roman Garcia, who became Franklin's all-time leading scorer tonight. He came into the game uh, tied with 1,382 career points. You know he got his, a big congrats to Garcia. Early on, how about Jazz Jackson, Montwood, hitting the three ball right there, and it's Gabe Aguilar for Franklin. Yeah, contact, poop, and harm. And then, of course, it's that man, Garcia. He's gonna come up with the layup right here, as I said, taking over the program record for career points as Franklin, they get the win 48. 35. Americas is the defending champ in District 16A. They're 1 0 to begin uh, district play, 15 9 overall. And the Pebble Hill Spartans also 1 0 in district play, overall record of 14 and 8. How about Elijah Davis? He gets the bucket to go. And then it's Damian Vicente. Good looking floater there in the lane. And then Jordan Hernandez spotting up. He's going to get his in the corner. Americas, they get the win 45-35 is your final. In District 15A action, Chapin hosting Irvin. Huskies sitting at 6-1 district play, 17-4 overall. A game that uh, a game and a half, I should say, behind the Andrews Eagles who had a bye week this week, fourth quarter. It's that man again. KJ Lewis, another highlight reel dunk. We may see that one in the uh, program again. Our play a week nominee. Manuel Flores had a nice game for Chapin. Two of his 16 points right there. And then it's back to Lewis. Game high 20 points for the freshman. Chapin wins it easily, 77-32. They improve to 7-1 in district play. They get Canatillo on Tuesday. Rivalry week for Austin and El Paso High. These two teams do not like each other that was certainly evident again tonight over at el paso high tigers looking to keep pace in the standings first quarter caleb herrera really impressed with his game tonight gets the ball on the floor and the two austin's going to respond with chris siniceros floater in the lane but i'd like to get back to herrera doing it on the defensive end nope and not in my house yeah, El Paso, they get the win 48-41 to improve to 5-3 in district play. Back to that beautiful new gym over at Bel Air. It is something. The Highlanders boys basketball team tied in the district standings with Eastlake at 5-3. So this was a big game. Open in the second half, it's Adam Herrera, the steal, and the finish on the other end. Later, it's the Falcons turning defense into offense again. This time it's going to be Ralph Ortega. He gets the steal. Two on the other end. Highlanders would... Uh, Answer with Don Vicencio, hoop and harm coming up right here, but it just wasn't enough in this game. Eastlake spoils the party, party at Bel Air, 46 to 30 is the final. El Dorado and Isleta also both five and three in district play. Two good games back for the uh, Eastwood Troopers who will play uh, Parkland, another five and three team in uh, district play. That game will be tomorrow. How about Jordan Clark? Gets the first points of the game. Later in the quarter, it's gonna be uh, Jay Domingue. 
expecting him to work in the paint. Don't sleep on this El Dorado team. They beat a very good Esvada team tonight, despite a good night from Christian Luera, Indians captain, 59-46 the final. So the Aztecs jumped the Indians in the standings, moving to 6-3 and three in district play. Horizon at Riverside. These two teams looking to get back on track. Rangers trying to snap a seven-game losing streak. How about Jose Ariano? Good-looking cut and finish at the basket. Riverside came to play tonight, though. This is Luis Lozano with the long two. Horizon hung tough without their leading score for the majority of this game, but it's Riverside who comes away with the 55-44 win, their third district win of the season. Clint is ranked 12th in the state of Texas in Class 4A. The Lions very well might be the best team in the city hosting Harmony tonight. We start in the first quarter. Jonathan Garcia coming up with the layup, and then a few plays later, it's Marcus Juarez. Going to get the easy inbound pass and pushes his way in for the bank shot is open. And you got uh, turnover here. Isaiah Gonzalez, easy layup on the other end. Clint beats Harmony, 49-7 to is your final. Mountain View and San Elizario matched up tonight. District opener for both of these teams. Second quarter, San Eli's Damian Rodriguez with the pass to Jay Hernandez. He's going to hit the jumper right here. Then it's uh, Hernandez again, going to dish it to... And Selmo Palicias for three. Daniel Perez also getting in in the action for San Eli. They get the win 59 to 45. Other finals for you. Canatillo over Bowie. Burgess tops Jefferson. Hanks a winner over Del Valle. Tornillo also gets a win over Anthony. Elsewhere you got uh, Oñate over Alamogoro 56-44. Centennial beats Mayfield. Gadsden a seven point win over Deming in El Paso. Home school edges Fabens 57 to 54. Hey, we are full court press when it comes to our high school basketball coverage. Coming up next, we have your play of the week and a look ahead to next week's games. Do not change that channel. I'm Tatiana Favela, and thank you for watching KTSM 9 News. It's bowl season at Taco Cabana, so come in for our chicken fajita or ground beef bowl for just $3.99. And our steak fajita or beyond meat bowl for only $4.99. It's value that has everybody cheering. Taco Cabana. Order online, get it delivered. Did you know there's an attorney who makes house calls? That's right. At Zant Law Firm, we have a mobile office. The attorney will go to your home to discuss your case. Have you been injured at a store or business? Have you suffered an injury in a car accident? Has your child been injured in a daycare? You don't need the largest law firm. You just need an experienced local lawyer who cares enough about your case to come to you. I'm Alexandria Zant. Call me today at 799-0993. Home of the mobile law office. Visit us online at ElPasoMobileLawyer.com. Need a work truck or van for your business? Come to Rudolph Chevrolet. Popular Mattress is having its annual clearance sale with savings up to 50%. Plus save the tax. Save up to 50% off Simmons Beauty Rest and Popular Mattress floor models. Plus save the tax. Experience a Tempur-Pedic, America's most recommended mattress for as low as a dollar a night, plus $300 in gifts. Take advantage of zero down, zero interest for up to 60 months. Hurry into Popular Mattress. Family owned and operated since 1939 for the lowest prices in town. It's crazy, man. Thank you very much, y muchas gracias. This is the Chevy Silverado with the world's first invisible trailer. Invisible trailer? Hop in. Silverado offers an optional technology package with up to 15 different views, including one enhanced view that makes your trailer appear invisible. Wow. That's pretty That's sweet. Cool. Where's the trailer, though? Get 0% financing for 72 months on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, eligible GM card members get $1,000 in bonus earnings. That's on top of most other offers. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. I'm Natasha Paloma. Watch KTSM 9 News at 5, 6, and 10 p.m. Putting local first. It's bowl season at Taco Cabana, so come in for our chicken fajita or ground beef bowl for just $3.99. And our steak fajita or beyond meat bowl for only $4.99. It's value that has everybody cheering. Taco Cabana. Order online, get it delivered. Those pre-existing conditions are protected. A broken promise. Trump repeatedly tried to undermine coverage for 134 million Americans with pre-existing conditions. He just doesn't care if you have a pre-existing condition. He wants to deny you access to coverage. If he is reelected, he'll keep trying to do that. 
And I think we can't let that happen. As president, Mike will lower costs and protect Americans with pre-existing conditions. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. You know what time it is. It's time for our play of the week. And for the second time in three weeks, it comes from Chapin High School. Antoine Holmes to KJ Lewis. Dunk you very much. So nice. We show you twice. Get up, young man. And may I remind everyone, Lewis, only a freshman. Some good times to come for him and the Chapin Huskies. Here's a look at some games we'll be featuring next week. First, the boys, Montwood will host America's. Andrus is at El Paso High. That should be a good one. You got Isleta and Eastwood. Emmanuel Christian, they will get Clint. On the girls' side, Coronado at Pebble Hills. Chapin hosts Austin. El Dorado at Horizon. And San Elizario, ranked ninth in the state. They will get Fabians. If you missed any of the action, be sure to head on over to our website. KTSM.com. We'll catch you next week.